My name's Russ. I'm Kelly. And I've been going to Sloan's for about 29 years. Well, me too. My favorite memories have to be the Christmas shows and the shows that I did with the kids. They were amazing. They were amazing. It was, it was the best time. Probably just working on the church. I mean, different different things that we did. I suppose the first one was on the nursery, and that goes back a little while ago. So the other one was the sanctuary when we tore that all down and we did the front walls. And I know John Anderson and Michael helped George. There was a bunch of us down there working on that. And uh, that took quite a, quite a bit of time, but it was a, a neat job, and it really changed the aspects of the church. I love the fact that this campaign is going beyond the building. The building is fantastic and it needs work without a doubt. But to go beyond that and say it's more than that because it's reaching people. To become a part of our church and our community within the church, it's amazing and this campaign is going to just leaps and bounds forwards towards that and, and the building, and the building. But, but to see hearts changed is going to be and I'm, I'm excited about the building. I mean, it, it has needed some major things that are falling apart. And uh, I think that's really going to help that we can draw some more money to that and that we can refurbish and, and bring it up to date and to bring newer families with kids and the whole thing. I think it's going to revitalize the church because without kids or families, I mean, it's really tough. We did not start giving regularly. Year, his family has always been strong givers, and he's always been had a giving heart. Um, when we got married, it was more of just, oh yeah, I, I need to write the check. I need to, you know, I need to get this done. And then I got to a point in in my spiritual life where God was like, you owe me a little bit more than that. You know, you 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 know, I've blessed you, and you need to. To really give that 10% and really once we started to give the 10% then all of a sudden it was like we we were set we don't we don't have a lot you know we you know I wouldn't consider it what we have a lot but we've never wanted for anything I was taught from a very young age to give that 10% right off the top and uh, I think at first it was kind of tough but I think as you grow in Christ that it becomes easier and easier. And the more you give him, the more blessings you get. I think for me, it's just the proof. You know, the living proof that, that we have walked through in that, you know, we did start out, you know, hey, I'll write the check, you know, and oh, forgot, sorry about that, you know, and, and, we, and as we got to where we did start no, this has got to come in, this has got to be our 10%. And once we did that, we were, we were blessed. And, and I know they say it like a thousand times, you know, that, you know, try me in this. But it's more than just the money, it's the blessing. I challenge people, you know, do it. Because once you do, you're going to see things change. And I've heard stories of people who have been like, well, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can afford it. And it's like, you can't not afford it because once you start giving, you're gonna see how things change in your life. It's gonna make just a, a, a crazy amazing difference.